testing uh, Liberty. I'm gonna turn this around here quick. We've got our hands laid out. Ten of them. We're running this DBI Liberty. And uh, we're gonna make sure this thing's flying flat. Yep. There's the hands. And we'll go see what we get. Alright, so we ran the spreader over and now we've got our vials and we're going to dump the product from each pan that we drove over. It's got this uh, shield in it to collect the prills when they hit it so they don't just bounce out. We're going to go down along this line, as you can see, and we're just going to collect and dump into each vial here so that way when we're done We'll be able to look across this vial and I'll do a video of it and see how flat and even the pattern is and what adjustments we need to make. Okay, so Cody's gonna make an adjustment here to our divider. And what do you do there, Cody? So basically what I did was is I brought <clears throat> the divider in per se. So you can see these numbers here, it's labeled one through three, so we were at three and a half I moved it back to three so hopefully that'll help get us to where we'll be fairly even yep so after our second pass uh, the adjustment that we made you can see it here we were really heavy out here on the outsides we changed our flow divider and now it is a little bit more even we're gonna go ahead and make a couple more adjustments we're gonna slow down our spinner speed we think that we might be overlapping a little bit here in the center uh, being a full mechanical spreader, it can be hard to know your exact RPMs, and we want them around 650, right? But if you're throwing 750, you're going to be throwing a further gap and therefore doubling up in the center. So we're going to try slowing down our spinner speed by our RPMs. We're going to slow down our RPMs from 1,000 to 950, and then we're going to also thread our flow divider into about two and three quarters and we're gonna make another pass and see what those adjustments make. So stay tuned. Okay, so after the third pass, like we talked, we slowed down our spinner speed because we thought we were overlapping in the center and we put that flow divider in just a little bit more and you can see it's awfully dang flat. There's, it might be a little bit heavier right here. We're gonna fix that with a flow divider uh, adjustment, but that's a pretty dang flat pattern there whenever you're catching uh, with these and that's the beauty of the BBI product is straight from the factory uh, this thing's brand new we're coming out here and on our third pass we're throwing flat patterns and what we're doing today is extremely important to getting this BBI spreader working properly on your farm it's a part of what Fennig equipment does when we sell the BBI and we want you guys to be well prepared and well armed to do this so that you're running the best spreader possible on your farm and that that spreader is spreading evenly for you. So very important tools that are provided here from Fennig Equipment and Salford. All of this pan test kit uh, can be purchased with your spreader and some spreaders it comes with it. But today we were able to achieve a flat pattern in three passes.